Hello and welcome to the episode 117 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Some of the stories that we'll cover today include a dress rehearsal, a look at the future, and some heartbeats. Let's see. On the 27th of April 1961, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums, performed another night of their ongoing residency at the Top Ten Club in Hamburg, West Germany. Another Hamburg residency in 1962, the third for the lads, still with Pete Best in the lineup, this time with an engagement at the Star Club. In 1963, the Beatles played the Victory Memorial Hall in Northwich for their second straight booking with promoter Lewis Buckley. For the evening, they were supported by Danny Curtis and the Renegades and the Cruisers with Car Terry. On the 27th of April 1964, the Beatles were busy with the final dress rehearsal for the ITV production of Around the Beatles. The rehearsal, featuring an audience and all the guests of the show, took place in Studio 5AB of Red Diffusion's Wembley Studios in London. In 1965, instead, the Fab Four were at the Twickenham Film Studios to shoot the help scene in which they are seen heavily camouflaged at the airport terminal, before going to the Bahamas. The most uncanny thing about the whole scene is how much these camouflages happen to closely resemble the look of three of the four Beatles in the following years. Ringo, with relatively short hair and a bird, seemed like his early to mid-1970s self. George's moustache, minus the bird, made him look very similar to his spring 1967 look. John's long beard and round granny glasses anticipated his 1969 Jesus look. Only Paul was radically different. And you can be radically different too by heading to www.simonmas.com support to find out what you can do to help me to put out more music-related content, show the universe how fab you are, and allow me to stop yapping about it in every episode of this jolly podcast. Thank you for making the difference with any donation or with a good old round of word of mouth with your friends. On the 27th of April 1966, the Beatles attended a late afternoon mixing session at the EMI Studios for Taxman, and your bird can sing, and tomorrow never knows. They had already made a habit of being in the studio for the mixing sessions, but now the band started to have the final word over the material. None of the mixes produced in the 6 to 11 pm session was considered viable for release, something that would have never happened only a couple of years before. After the mixing session, the Fab Four went on recording until 3 am, tackling I'm Only Sleeping, taping 11 takes of its rhythm track. The band performed the song in E minor, but the tape machine had been set up to run at a faster speed than usual, so that, on normal speed, the piece sounded a semitone lower, in E flat minor. More studio work for the band in 1967. Working as usual at the EMI Studios between 7 pm and 12.45 am, the Beatles recorded more vocal overdubs on Magical Mystery Tour. After that, the session was wrapped up with four rough mono mixes of the song, for the band's consideration and to allow for the score for the trumpet part to be prepared. Finally, in 1969, John Lennon re-recorded his and Yoko Ono's heartbeats for John and Yoko, working between 3 and 6 pm at the EMI Studios. The piece was mixed in stereo again between 6 and 8 pm. This leads us to the conclusion of today's episode. Tomorrow, the Beatles will get a Grandma Award. Tune in to find out what in the world that is. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas.